All right. I am Ryan Quinn. This is what not to do when starting a project. Uh, professionally, I'm involved in systems architecture and systems development at Video Modify in Tulsa. It's a small team, so I have many hats and start many projects. Uh, personally, I'm in I'm part of the Free Code Camp Oklahoma Tulsa uh, contingent, and I have the character trait of being a perfectionist. Uh, this is this is double edged. On the one hand, it drives me to improve, and on the other, it, it can result in anxiety, which becomes inaction. You know, I want everything to be perfect now, and it can be a little intimidating to try to live up to my own expectations. Uh, this talk comes from the Free Code Camp community, and as such, the main audience is new people. More seasoned people could pick up some tips, so stick around. Uh, this is this is not a talk about professional projects. That's that's a whole raft of things I'm not going to touch on. This is this is about starting. Don't create an open-ended project. Make sure the project has a point B. It needs to have a goal. It, that helps with the project focus and it helps with design decisions. And the project doesn't have to be anything serious. Like uh, I may start a project with the express intent of learning something or working through a problem. Uh, once I reach that goal, the project is over. Uh, accomplished what I set out to accomplish, and it doesn't matter what shape the project is in. It may be less than half baked at that point, but I got out of it wanted to, what I wanted to get out of it. Don't expect everything to be perfect immediately. Uh, the project is going to be a mess, and that's okay. Running code can be fixed, but code that was never written cannot be fixed. You know, we're all going to build a garbage pile at some point. You know, I've built some garbage piles and I've been pretty proud of some of them. You know, some other people have even liked the garbage pile I've built. You know, we're just doing the best that we can and we just have to accept that. Don't expect to jump to point B immediately. It's gonna be a journey and it's probably gonna look like the squiggly line. You know, after 20 years, the journey might look like the first or second lines, but starting out, it's definitely gonna be the third. You know, the best example is building a sandwich. We know how to build a sandwich because we built a lot of sandwiches. But telling someone who has never built a sandwich how to build a sandwich is amazingly hard. They don't have the knowledge and they can't fill in the blanks themselves. You know, at the beginning of a project, there are going to be a lot of blanks and this can be intimidating. To get around this, break everything down to small steps. You know, set small goals which are reasonable to accomplish and keep track of these goals. For instance, most of my projects start as Hello World programs. That, that's one of my steps, get a working program. After that, it's make it do things. You know, fill, fill it out, make it useful. If this sounds like project planning and project management, that's because it is. That's where this, that's where this comes from. It's also perfectly reasonable to attach rewards to goals. So, you know, get some ice cream, get a cookie, you know, just something, something that you like. Don't try to learn more than one thing at a time. This, this doesn't work very well. When I've crashed and burned, it's been because I've tried to learn two or more things at the same time. You know, trying to learn concurrently slows things down and limiting ourselves to one thing lets us lean on our existing knowledge base and focus. Don't assume the project will get done. You know, schedule time for it. Uh, take advantage of computer hibernation and leave everything set up. Just just so you can sit down and start working. Don't spend endless time analyzing insignificant details or bike shedding. Bike shedding is the futile investment of time and energy in discussion of marginal technical issues. The, the origin example is arguing about the color of the bike shed before it's been built. You, I mean, you gotta build it before you paint it, right? You know, get the project working, then fix the problems and add features. It's easy to get lost searching for the best whatever or doing what ifs. But, you know, try something and see if it works. If it doesn't, you know, change course. Uh, there, there are going to be several iterations of projects, so work incrementally. With more time, we get better at triaging things and picking out what's important. Don't feel bad about starting over. Sometimes we paint ourselves into corner and we need to reset everything or sometimes we need to work on something a couple times before things start clicking. You know, this happens and 
there's no need to be precious with something which isn't working. You know, we're all, we're all gonna fail. We're gonna be stumped by something. Uh, spent like a week working on a Django ORM problem. You know, you know that's just how things happen. Most of my job is figuring out all the things that all the ways things won't work before finding the one thing that does. So we're we're gonna have lots of failures and restarts. So that's how we learn. Uh, so in summary, we gain new knowledge as we go. Life is an iterative process, and we'll be better tomorrow than we were today. 